only four games on this Monday slate in Major League Baseball to start the final week of the regular season. A lot of teams have the day off before they start their second to last set of the year tomorrow on a Tuesday. But DRS still a lot of postseason implications at stake on this Monday. We start in Houston. The Astros host the Mariners. Minus 132. Houston the slight home favorite against Seattle. Total seven and a half. If Houston wins tonight, they clinch. They have a five-game lead in the American League West over Seattle. But the M's not out of it necessarily despite the divisional standings they're only two games back of those struggling teams in the American League wildcard chase as well yeah they can win this game tonight no doubt about it now there's only eight total pitchers on the card and if you go back and take a look at those 20 minimum innings here guess who's number one and number two on the card it's Hunter Brown and it's Bryce Miller both the pitchers in this ball game in a playoff atmosphere understandably wouldn't you like the under just a little bit more if it wasn't Seattle not Houston but still nonetheless I don't see too many base hits in this baseball game and also when we talk about kitchen sink games Ben there is no tomorrow for the Seattle Mariners which means they're not going to look at a game like hey we just threw two relievers over the weekend we want to give them the day off there is no more of that they have to win every single game here on out if they want to make the playoffs but as you said they're not going to win the division but is there a legitimate chance that they can make the playoffs as a wild card they win tonight you get that half game from some teams that aren't even playing sure. tonight and away you go into this final week must win game coin flip on the mound give me the under seven and a half i don't think we get eight runs tonight two good pitchers on the mound it is crazy to think the Astros are going to win the American League West after how dismal the opening half of the year was for Houston. The Astros, if they win a division, they're going to be the third seed, it would seem, in the American League playoff picture behind both the Guardians and the Yankees. But they will host that opening round in a Houston team that has played in seven consecutive American League Championship Series will have the opportunity to make it eight in a row. Arizona and New York, they have the final two spots in the National League wild card standings, both looking up at San Diego by three games. The Padres swept the White Sox this weekend, as you would expect. San Francisco, though, the surprising sweep of the weekend in Kansas City at Kauffman over the Royals. The D-backs took three of four, nearly four of four against Milwaukee. Arizona wants to keep winning, knowing how crucial the Braves and the Mets series is going to be starting tomorrow in Atlanta. What do you like tonight in the desert? And just as we talked about eight pitchers on the card, the top two pitchers on the card in the game we just talked about with Seattle and Houston, how about this? The two worst pitchers on the card we're going to talk about today with San Francisco and Aaron, excuse me, Arizona. That would be Eduardo Rodriguez and Hayden Birdsong. Here's the issue. Rodriguez has not been a good pitcher. Typically, left-handed batters have been getting the best of him as a left-handed pitcher. That can't happen. But let's focus on the San Francisco Giants offense. One of those teams we never expect to do a ton of damage. They're in Arizona, not at home. Maybe they can break through. How about this let me give you the last 30 days action for this lineup against left-handed pitching then we'll go one through eight Fitzgerald all the way through Schmidt ISO power numbers Ben are as followed zero 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 oh. zero and hey. zero and oh. then Grant McRae good old good old Grant McRae in the nine hole there hitting 300 with his ISO power number against left-handed pitching so for my money a team is in it a team is out of it one team can't hit lefties at all it's got to be an Arizona Diamondbacks night tonight forget about how bad Eduardo Rodriguez is they can't hit left-handed pitching Diamondbacks win Listen, those ISO power numbers never good when it is just a zero. San Francisco, Jeez. slightly disappointing season once again by the Bay. Blake Snell has been great, but he was injured often in the opening two and a half months of this season. The Giants are two games below 500, currently going to miss out on the National League postseason. Is tonight the night? That red October officially begins in Philadelphia, even in late September. Aaron Nola on the bump for the Phils. They're a hefty home favorite back at the bank. Bank, excuse me, minus 178. With a win, the Phillies claim the National League East. It would be the first time in the last seven years as the Atlanta Braves have won the division six consecutive. We've got a new team atop the National League East. Donnie, does it happen tonight for your Phillies? At the bank, and yes, the brink of a championship, and it should happen tonight. Having said that, though, last performance there by Aaron Nola, he was sensational. I expect, nonetheless, he should be good tonight. Nate Pearson, an average pitcher at best, but you look at that Phillies lineup. Last 30 day days against right-handed pitching, absolutely slaying it. But take a look at the Chicago Cubs last 30 days against right-handed pitching, which Nola yeah. is a good pitcher. Outside of Isak Paredes, 
just about everybody is plus weighted on base percentage and ISO power numbers. Maybe we go over the total, but the Phillies still get the victory tonight in Philadelphia. You can't really see this, but this is my FanDuel Sportsbook app way back on May 22nd at an even money plus 100 price. I bet the Phillies to win the National League East. Cash the ticket tonight, Philadelphia. The prop perspective next. 